Hey guys, Game Advisor here, and today we're going to be talking about Starbase and everything you need to know in order to get started. So let's start out by talking about what you can expect when you first enter the world, or should I say, universe. Well, the way this game's going to start out is you're going to spawn in and choose your station, and after doing so, you will have to go through the tutorial. The tutorial in this game has a lot of useful information, so do be sure to read every single tooltip you come across. It's going to teach you things like how to mine, how to tear apart a ship, how to repair your ship, as well as many other things along the way. One of the most important aspects is going to be the easy build mode. Now the easy build mode in Starbase is extremely important as it is vital to understanding how to get your ship going. Yes, it is important to also know that easy build mode will not always be the best way to build your ship, However, it is very easy to understand and get you in and running within the game. If you did decide to build your ship and customize it right out the gate, you're not even going to have all the tools you need. So I highly, highly recommend if you are able to use the easy build mode as much as possible in order to just snap parts right onto your ship. This is going to save you tons of time and tons of stress of having durability errors and many other issues with your ship simply because you don't have the tools you need in order to actually create and build build a ship without it. Now after you finish the tutorial, you're bound to run into some issues where you want to do some quality of life things, but you just don't know how to do them. So some of those are going to be using C in order to auto snap things, which will allow you to snap things like your fuel rods in order to put them into your ship much, much easier. Rather than getting that absolutely perfect alignment, all you have to do is push that C button once and it will start to auto snap. Again, this is super useful, do make sure you do it. Now you may also notice when you get started that you're running out of these fuel rods extremely quickly. Well, don't worry, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and set your generator power button to a lower setting. I'm gonna explain how to do this. It is a little complicated, but it's not that bad. All you need to do is look at the button. You're gonna hit U in order to pull up your universal tool. Once you've done that, you're then going to go to the button state on value, and you're gonna set it to a lower number. This number should be less than 100, usually between 22 and 30, in order to reduce the rate at which that fuel rod is converting your fuel into power. This will save you so much time, fuel, and effort trying to deal with these as an issue. Now, if you do put more thrusters on your ship like I did, you're going to have to change this, but it is something to keep in mind as it's going to save you a ton of fuel, time, and effort. Now, if you do run out of power, you can use the extra fuel rods you have on the back of your ship. This is something that the game doesn't really make super clear to you right away until you have actually ran out of your first fuel rod. But if you're like me and you're worried and don't wanna get stranded, just know you have four additional fuel rods on the rear of your ship. These are super useful for your first time around and just keep that in mind when you run out, all you need to do is go to the back of your ship, grab one and put it in. Just make sure to turn off the generator and the cruise control, otherwise your ship might take off without you. Now, as far as to what you can expect in the first day or so of playing Starbase is going to be essentially just a lot of mining. You're gonna be going out to the asteroid belt, collecting resources, coming back and then crafting those into different things in order to create research. And that's because your main bottleneck in the beginning of the game is most likely going to be your research. In order to research things, as the game will explain to you in the tutorial, you're going to have to craft things. So the best thing that you can do in the beginning is usually just going to be building the base crafting bench. And you're just gonna spam as many of these as you can. Yes, they have a very long craft time, so you're gonna have to sit at the station AFK, but it's gonna save you so many resource runs by just crafting these, rather than spamming out something like storage containers, which really just takes forever and uses a lot more resources in the long haul for the same amount or less of research. Now there is a lot more to discover in Starbase and I'm sure there is plenty more beginner tips and things like that that we can talk about. We will be making tons of content on this game, so if you guys are interested in it and you want to see more tutorials, tips guides, beginner's guides, advanced, intermediate, coding, you name it, we are planning on putting all of that out for you. Do consider subscribing to the channel if that's something you're interested in and you did enjoy this video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.